Hello there. Today we did a coffee machine program. Uh, maybe I should just start with um, what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to ask me if I want a latte, espresso, or cappuccino. It should have a turn off. It should be able to turn off the machine. I should be able to print what's left in the machine and how much money it has check how many resources it has if i even can make the drinks process the coins i put in and check if the transaction was successful uh, then yeah make the coffee so let's look here i want a latte let's say it costs Two point five dollars. I don't want pennies. I don't have nickels. I don't have dimes. But I have fifteen quarters. Here I have my change, and I got my latte. Now, if I type report, I see I only have a hundred milliliters of water, fifty milliliters of milk. And I still have a lot of coffee, and I got some money. So now, now, if I type latte again. It says, well, I don't have enough water or milk, so I need to refill. And if I type off, turning off machine, and the code is all over. So let's look at my code. I made, let's see, one, two, three, four, five functions. Let's start with the first one. First, it's what type of coffee do I want? Choose espresso, latte, cappuccino. And then I have the report. And I'll shift off. So here it basically shows what path to take in my program. Which in the future, I will see what's kind of a mistake. Because my code gets quite long unnecessary long. It works perfectly fine. I could have used it in a very, very much efficient way. Yeah, so here they have their value. And I just take the value. So yeah, an espresso costs $1.5, latte 2.5, and a cappuccino 3. And if I apply it, press report, return that it's the value is 1. Yeah. Then my next um, like, uh, function is uh, how much money I put in. I don't need to have these four. It just looks good. Instead, I could just write 0 0.01 here. And, yeah, but I, I just like the look of it. And then it combines the value of all those. And returns those com combined and has two decimals. My third is it calculated if I put in enough money. If not enough, then it just says enough, not enough money. And otherwise, it says yeah. Then the third, uh, the Second last function, I think, yeah, is to reduce the resources. So if so, if I shows espresso, it just reduces fifty water, zero milk, eighteen grams of coffee, and it and it yes returns that value. Then I have this very long. Um, if LF function, so it says what type of uh, resources it's missing. So here it is if it's missing everything, it's just missing one in coffee, and so on. Um, very long one, but works for fine. So you see everything here is divided by what type of coffee it is. So now we go down to the main, the while loop or the function for this. 
my money bank is zero, so I have nothing in my bank from the start. I have the base resources, 300 grams of water, 300 milliliters of water, 200 milliliters of uh, milk, and 100 grams of coffee. And while turn off equals true, this will continue. So first, yeah, I choose the drink price, which is, I choose what type of drink it is. So if it's an espresso, and the resources isn't enough, it will do the refill time function. So this one. And if it is enough, it says it's cost $1.5. It used the insert of money function. Then it uh, prints if it's if I got one change or not. Uh, and then it prints here is your espresso. It reduces my resources and then it adds the money. It's the same for all the other drinks. Then if I type one in the beginning or report in the beginning, it will just show the resources. And if I type off, it will turn off the while loop. It's a clear kinda kinda simple, but it's too long. So now if I go check out my teacher, she did it so much more simple. She instead used the for loops and the, uh, let's see here. Okay, she has also has a function for, for each step. Here she has a for loop for the ingredients to check if uh, they are enough or not. Uh, and this probably get in hand in the future because order of ingredients are probably what type of coffee and resources is the base. <laughs> and yeah. If it's not enough, we return as false. The coins, basically the same as mine, but this was very smart. Just to take total equals that and plus total plus, plus total. Yeah, just combine it from the start instead of doing a function below. And yeah, she didn't write penny equals that stuff. It's kind of obvious, but. It'll, I think it looks better. Then she has a function for if I get enough money or not. Then she also prints. Uh, so she prints it if it's enough or if it, here's the change. Uh, this was kind of smart to have the profit out of the money in this part. To just add it. Um, then to make the coffee, here is what you choose. Make coffee. Um, here it yeah here it takes the resources you wanted, the order of ingredients, and reduces it from the resources list. Um, so if we go through her final while loop. Um, she makes a choice, espresso, latte, cappuccino. If choice equals off is a lot. Yeah, this is the, just turn off the program instead. Then we have the report. Yes, but here is the important part then, making the coffee. Drink equals menu choice. Um, okay. So here it takes the choice. So if I say espresso, espresso, we go up to the list, take espresso. And then it will, um, let's see here. Yeah, because it will choose between two different uh, 
Uh, okay, yeah, so here, let's see. here it will choose if I take espresso. Uh, and it will convert first here what drink it was. So it's menu choice, choose the espresso. And if the function is resources sufficient, choose it to drink, which is espresso, then it looks in the ingredients. So here it makes a for loop, looking through all the ingredients, compare them to the resources and see if they are uh, sufficient. And then she does the payment. Uh, so if it's sufficient, it will pay. Uh, and then if the transaction is successful, um, payment and drink cost. So here, if you look through espresso and find the valuable cost, and let the key cost, say it's 1.5. So here it will just add, uh, add it to the, let's see, where's the list on profit, yeah, here. Then, she will make the coffee. So by making the coffee, we first take the choice, which is espresso, then the drink. So first it goes through the, in the dictionary and chooses espresso. Then it will choose the ingredients in espresso. This is so much clever, so much shorter, and she doesn't have to make a path for each type of coffee like I did. I have a path for everything. It works fine, yes. But I need to work on my dictionary, uh, dictionary uses and think out more efficient ways to not be able as to not need more if and else statements. So that was today's project. Um, thank you for listening. I need to practice more on making more efficient code. Um, yeah. Have a good day. Bye.